Hey guys, I just wrapped up a video on my coding channel Xcreate regarding i7 2018 versus i9 2019 in software development. We went through Unreal Engine, went through Unity, Xcode, all the kind of hardcore programming stuff there. And I just got one thing I want to share with you and that is the difference between when the i7 can beat the i9. And right here, check it out. In Unreal Engine, compiling your code, the i7 beat the i9 by 10 whole seconds. I'm going to go through exactly why it did that in this video. So brace yourself for some awesomeness. So the one thing you have to remember is that the i7 I have is 32 gigabytes of RAM, whereas the i9 that I bought is only 16 gigabytes of RAM. So if we go through the video right here, we can see that at the beginning, the i7 was going 3 gigahertz, and the i9 was going 3.5 gigahertz. Both of them were going pretty much 100 degrees Celsius, so they were both getting maxed out on the heat. But then something interesting happened, and I'll just fast forward it a little bit. Both computers started to nosedive, 2 gigahertz, 1.6 gigahertz, and I don't think it's to do with thermal throttling whatsoever because the temperatures were completely fine. What I do think it is, at this point of the code, it was packaging together the files. And if you look carefully, the i9 right now has burst to use 90% of the cores right here, and the i7 is slowly behind, so the i9 is actually winning. However, if we just fast forward this a bit, we can see that the i7, it's got a solid utilization score of the CPU, whereas the i9 is bopping up and down, up and down. And I don't think it's anything to do with the thermals, because the thermals are at 80 degrees on both. What I do think is going on is RAM utilization. You see, Unreal Engine is compiling a massive project, and because the i9 only has 16 gigabytes of RAM, it can't give the CPU all the information at once. If you look at Activity Monitor, you can see that Unreal Engine here has launched six instances of Clang, which is used to compile the code, one per core. However, with hyperthreading enabled, that's 12, and if you had eight cores, that's 16, so you'd need at least 16 gigabytes of RAM purely for the compilation itself, whereas the i7 with 32 gigabytes of RAM is able to store everything in memory, allowing it to compile the code as fast as possible. So the only reason why the i7 beat the i9 is purely because of the RAM bottleneck. So there you go, the i7 can beat the i9 in this circumstance. So out of every single test I've ran, and I've tested pretty much everything from Hell on Earth, Gaming, Final Cut, Simbench, <laughs> pretty much everything I could find. The only case I could find where the i7 can beat the i9 is in Unreal Engine, thanks to only having 16 gigabytes RAM on the i9. So there you go. I hope you found this video useful and a bit informative about why you may need extra RAM. And sometimes in life, when you feel the fight is over, it's just because you don't have enough RAM.